Hi, I'm Dr. Dane T. Welcome, welcome to 2023. Uh, this is Spilling the Tea with Dr. Dane T. I want to just quickly uh, share with you what I've asked the Lord, what he has for us for 2023. Lord, what do you have for us for 2023? Um, I'd like to praise just quickly uh, to set the atmosphere and then move us into the three scriptures that he shared with me based upon the prayer and the search for what he has for us. I don't own the rights to this song, okay? <laughs> and it is a medley. It's a part of two different songs. Try you are enough. Jaira, you are enough. And I will be content in any circumstance. Oh, Jaira, you are enough. For every love, you're always enough. You're more than enough. For every love, you're always enough. You're more than enough. I know who I am. I know that I'm chosen. I know that I'm loved. I know what you've spoken. I know that I'm loved more than I can imagine. That is enough. Oh, move the unmovable, break the unbreakable. God, we believe, God, we believe for it. If it's impossible, we'll see a miracle. God, we believe, God, we believe for it. Jaira, you are enough. Oh, Jaira, you are enough. And I will be content in any circumstance. Oh, Jaira, you are enough. You are enough. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aren't we glad that Jehovah Jireh, God our provider, is enough? I'm so glad he's enough. And I pray that you are glad that he's enough as well. Well, let's get into our prophecy for 2023. Let's move into our prophecy for 2023. So I want to show with you how I came to see what God has for us. So do you know what I did? I created some flashcards based upon each book of the Bible because I want to continue my journey in learning more about the Bible, learning the truth about the Bible, not the way people teach the Bible where it's oppressive, where it's suppressive. No, the Bible is about justice. The Bible is about light and truth. It's about God's protection. It's about God as light and as love. So let's see the true context of the word so that it heals us, right? So it buoys us. It uplifts us, all right? It directs us. So let's move into God's truth in that manner. So let me share uh, three of the cards. And the first one I want to share is from Job. So I'm going to stop this share of our title page and then move to 
Job. All right. Oh, you know what you all? Job is not the right scripture. <laughs> but I tell you what, I will just show you. This is what I did for all 66 books of the Bible. For all 66 books of the Bible, I have the name of the book. I have what the name means or what's happening in the chapter. I have the order of the book whether it's in the Old Testament or the New Testament, I have how many chapters are in that book, and I have the section for the book. But you know what? We're not coming from Job this morning, so let me <laughs> let me move us to where we really are, all right? And so let's do the share again. And I have the scripture up for us. And our scripture... Micah. It's going to be our first scripture. So there we go. Micah 6 and 8. Micah 6 and 8. That's going to be our first scripture to show us where we are, what we can expect for 2023. All right, what we can expect for 2023. So Micah 6 and 8 reads, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? This is what God requires. He wants us to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. So that's the first part. So what, what's our takeaway from that? Really quickly, what's our takeaway from that? Act, act like you've got some sense. Have mercy for yourself and for others, right? Have mercy for yourself and for others and walk humbly. Don't walk with pride, arrogant pride in your abilities, but walk humbly knowing that your abilities are actually coming from the power of the Holy Spirit who is within you. Ah, that's something else, isn't it? Okay, let's move to our next scripture. Our next scripture then is from 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 through 4. And it's important to follow along as you're seeing this scripture because it's in stair steps. It's like a scaffold. It's building upon itself. So as you look at 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 through 9, it reads, For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness. Okay, so first we're to have faith, and then we're going to add goodness to our faith, and then to goodness, knowledge. Add to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, mutual affection, and to mutual affection, love. Right? So if you're doing a New Year's resolution, work on these positive um, effects in your life. Faith and goodness and knowledge and self-control and perseverance and godliness and mutual affection and love. For the verse goes on, the scripture says, for if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. See, so as we are moving and improving, we're doing it so we can be effective and productive in our knowledge of our God. Verse 9 says, but whoever does not have them is nearsighted and blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their past sins. Ah, oh, so how important it is to remember these different affects so we can know that we have a God who forgives us when we repent. We have a God who forgives us when we repent. I had to repent this morning. I had not noticed that in my text messages to a dear friend, she was not responding to my text messages. And it took me a while to notice. I was giving them, but I wasn't hearing back from her. So I sent her a message saying, uh-oh, if I have done anything to offend you 
or to hurt our relationship, um, even if it is unintentional, then I repent and I apologize. Uh, because see, there are relationships, it says right here in the word, mutual affection and love. So we're trying to hold on to those things that are our blessing. And then the last scripture we have is Deuteronomy 33 and 3. I suggest you read the entire thing, but I'm looking as specifically at the blessing from Moses. All right. Well, my dogs are letting me know that it is now time to get off. But please know for 2023, these blessings are for you. Amen. I'm Dr. Dainty, and this has been Spilling the Tea with Dr. D.